Hello guys, Franco here again um, with another update on the class I just passed. Most infamously known across all degrees as Data Management Foundations. Now, uh, this video is going to be very short and to the point, so let's get to it. How did I pass this class? Um, if you've watched many of my videos, my usual technique is Obsidian. So I 100% vouch for using Obsidian and watching tutorials on it. Uh, maybe I'll make one in the future, but there's plenty of them out there until I do. So use Obsidian to take down notes. Um, and I'll tell you right off the bat, I did not, I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, but I didn't go through all those side books. I'm not going to show any of the material, but as you can see, I stopped that chapter too. More specifically, I stopped at 2.8, which was inserting, updating, and deleting rows because this is so boring. Um, I've, I, I didn't, Zybooks to me, when it came for scripting and pro programming foundations, was actually entertaining. For this class, this was probably the worst way to learn. Um, I think up to about here, Zybox is like still pretty useful. I do think you should read it because it covers everything from a pretty foundational level. So I used Obsidian and I took notes over this. But after that, what I did is I watched this video here, Database Design All-in-One Tutorial Series, eight hours from Caleb Curry. 100% recommend watching a tutorial series. I didn't even finish it. I wish it would save. Uh, it had saved the progress, but I think I got up to about. I know by the name, I know where I got to about cardinality. Um, I got it to about cardinality, cardinality, and then the video I had watched, funnily enough, it's right here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, so I got up to about cardinality on his video. This is for Caleb Curry. I got up to about cardinality. Once I was done with cardinality, I went ahead and went over to uh, decomplexify. So this channel right here, you see uh, in the middle right, and I watched his video on the different types of normalization. Okay, then, uh, and and all this while taking notes in Obsidian. Then um, I went here, took the pre-assessment. As you can see, I did not pass, um, and I was like, damn. Okay, uh, th th I'm definitely still missing something. And I pretty, I did pretty, I think I did pretty bad, man. Let me check real quick. Okay, I didn't do too bad. I did absolute shit when it came to defining primary keys. So then um, I was like, okay, that I'm definitely missing something here, right? I'm, I'm missing something. Uh, I went over to the course chatter. I, I've never, to be honest, I have not really used it for other courses. This is my first time using the course chatter, and the amount of information that is there as well is very useful. Um, and I also recommend you use, uh, let me see if I can find. I know there is a link here. This W3 Schools SQL tutorial, and I'll link this all down in the description. I used this, and I went down to about SQL order by. Um, I recommend you know the difference between like and in, um, and then inner join, left join, right join, full joins, self joins, and um, ooh, let me see wild cards a little bit. And I, I recommend you do all that here. And then, uh, course chatter was clutch. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. This is why I'm kind of scared. But if you open up the course chatter, there is actually a document you can get from there. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, there's a document called data management. Uh, and if you open up the course chatter, it'll be like in the top right. There's going to be download links to several uh, documents. It'll be called data management.docx. So it's in uh, Word format download that it goes pretty much over the whole side books but the only difference being is that what you need to specifically know to pass the OA is highlighted in red um, so, and it, 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 I'd recommend reading that several times like literally read over the whole document so you can kind of ingrain into your head okay this 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 like I, 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 I mean I, I shit you not I literally after I had failed I read the document that day. I read the document. Uh, I went through it. 
then I went through it the next day, then the day after that I went through it, and then the day right before I took my test I went through it. Help me pass. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you need to understand. But for, I, th I think for a class like this, I mean, this class took me a month, guys, from since I last posted, it's, it's, I literally passed it a month and a day f from when I last passed um, the last class, which is scripting and programming. I mean, this class was ridiculous, man. I mean, it was just hard. Um, and I was really busy with work. So don't let that, you know, discourage you from trying. If you follow what I did, I think you will be very comfortable. Um, and you will, I believe in you. I, I believe you will pass. So you just have to kind of have some strategy. And that's what I did, you know. Um, I wish I, I have it on my Mac. I really need to figure out how to record on this thing at some point. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, but I mean, for this class, and I'm probably gonna release my vault at some point, because I mean, this thing is probably a gold mine, but I literally, like, I have everything here, man. I don't, I'm, that's kind of hard to look at, but um, yeah, I created a folder, and I, I had set um, on here for every class from now on, I'm, I'm kind of creating, like, um, a course of action for the class so how I'm going to go and tackle the class so for my thing it was D426 which is data management foundations course of action and this is what I so let's just go over it again went over his iBooks and I went up I literally just did chapter uh, all the way up to chapter 2 and then I stopped took notes in obsidian over that then um, because I got so bored I went over and I did Caleb Curry's database design video I watched it up until cardinality and then after that um, wh and while I was watching Caleb Curry's videos, uh, once a day I would hop on W3 Schools and I would do uh, the challenges, right? So I did like one challenge one day, intro one day, syntax one day, select one day, uh, select this thing one day. And, uh, that'll be under the track yourself. I think you have to click this and it takes you to the code or something. I know it's somewhere in here. I'll let you kind of go through these and answer them yourself. But... So I went through, through, I don't know where it is. Is it this one? Get your own SQL server. Yeah, here we go. So I did the exercises. Um, so I did the W3 Schools exercises while watching Caleb Curry's videos at least once a day to kind of help me learn the syntax um, while I'm learning the fundamentals of it. Um, all while taking notes in Obsidian. And I didn't use what other people say you should do for this class, like the Quizlet. I didn't use the Quizlet, none of that. I literally just did W3 Schools, Caleb Curry. Oh, decomplexifies videos on uh, uh, database normalization, and I took Obsidian notes over it. I took the PA, failed. Um, in Obsidian, then I created a little note, and I did a PA attempt uh, where I tracked my PA attempt and all the questions I missed. Then I used that. Database, uh, database management docx that's found in course chatter and I used that to figure out why I got these questions wrong on the pre-assessment and then I read pretty much that document while still doing W3 schools every single day I read it at least one time a day to help me just kind of ingrain into my brain what um, the most important things of this aspects of this class are because it's there I mean that 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 word document is literally the gold mine besides the W3 schools helping you learn the syntax it's the database um, document is literally Zybooks but it just tells you what you need to learn and I can't recommend enough that you learn that um, and you use it to learn why you're getting your answers wrong on the pre-assessment <sighs> okay I think I'm done rambling um, I am confident I believe in you you're smart Okay, it took me a month. I know you guys hype me up a lot in the comments, but this class took me a month, man. Okay, so if you feel frustrated, come back to this video. Just know I believe in you. I know you can pass this class, okay? A lot of people give this class shit because, to be frank, it's structured horribly. It's a lot to learn. It's quite, it's too much to learn, um... Especially if you're trying to accelerate, I mean, I can see where it's kind of hard, but if you, I promise, sometimes you just have to take your time, man. You can't try to do everything too quick, so take your time with it, um, 
and try to learn it. I mean, quite literally, the more, I, and I'll tell you this, at first, I felt stupid, man. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I felt dumb at first, when I first started this course. I felt ridiculously dumb because I was like, man, I don't get any of this shit, you know, like, I, I couldn't understand it. But the more you do it, it kind of desensitizes you to the content, so you don't feel as dumb. So the more you just expose yourself to it, after a while, it, you'll feel familiar with it, and you'll be, feel familiar with the concepts, and then quite literally your subconscious kind of takes over and it kind of helps just like, you know, it holds all the info back there and then you just end up connecting the dots. Um, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's really how it was for this class. Like, first two weeks, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but then the last two weeks, everything kind of started to click. So you just have to be consistent, persistent, and, you know, put in the work, man. Just You just have to. Um, and if it takes your time, be patient. So be consistent, persistent, and patient, and I guarantee you will pass this class, okay? That's it, guys. I hope this class, uh, I hope this video really helps you guys pass the class. Um, as always, if you need help, I try to respond to comments. Um, leave a comment, <clears throat> and I will try to help you answer your question as best I can. And I'll link all the videos down in the description, including the SQL tutorial. And that's it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.